Gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. I welcome you all to our annual meeting. The agenda for the meeting, as you already know, is to discuss our yearly 2021 and 22 progress before we compile and present the report to the President. Ibrahim Saab, we would like you to shed light on our educational stats for this year. Uh, please keep it brief. I have heard Brother Taki has got something interesting to show us. Sure, sir. The foremost mission of our education being is to prepare true leaders for the nation and for the Muslim Ummah. And for this very objective, we have right now 40,000 students enrolled in various institutes on full scholarship program. This includes tuition, lodging, food, and medical expenses. Compared to last year, we have added many educational basic centers in far-flung rural areas of Pakistan. Uh, we would like to have some pictures of those remotest areas in our report. Uh, Heather, note that down. Uh, by the way, Ibrahim Saab, how do you keep all the data for all the centers? Exactly. We have developed an app for this very purpose. The focal person for every center reports daily on the lessons, students and teachers' attendance, etc. The regional monitors can access all this data and can report to the head office similarly. But what about the news regarding the position that was being circulated last month? Yes, our Jami has got the highest number of positions in Mufakul Madaris this year. Along with mark achievements in religious studies, we also take pride in securing more than 85% A's and A stars in O and A level examinations, alhamdulillah. Fine. Uh, coming to the welfare side, Brother Tamur, would you kindly inform us about your performances this year? Sure, sir. Beit Salam has been on the forefront of welfare landscape all across Pakistan. Beit Salam's humanitarian projects have benefited millions of people in the span of 11 and a half months. Sorry to interrupt, but would you tell us the exact figures? Uh, sorry, let me explain it in detail. Talking of health sector, we operated fully equipped ambulances internationally, while as many as 80,000 people benefited from the free medical projects this year. And you mentioned the orphans. Yes, that's our point. Under the Saiban project, Beit Islam offered free of cost education to more than a thousand orphan students. True, but that's not all what is labeled as Saiban. Alongside the struggle for offering quality education, Beit Islam also cares for their daily needs. Alhamdulillah, this year we undertook the full-fledged kafarat of more than 1,000 orphans in different locations across the country. Perhaps at this point I should mention the digital side of the trust. Go ahead. Well, for character development, we constantly run healthy and active campaigns on the social media platforms, namely YouTube, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Beit Islam has reached out more than 7 million people across the continents, educating the people about Deen and spreading their message of peace, as the name Beit Islam claims. Seven million? Exactly. Uh, I think Mr. Samuel, your list seems long. Please continue. Exactly, yes, sir. This year, Beit Islam supplied ready meals to about 1.9 million people. For our record, can you please repeat the figures? Yeah. This year, Beit Islam supplied ready meals to about 1.9 million people. While the direct beneficiaries of Russian program were as many as 700,000 people. From the Seri and Iftari program of Beit Islam, around 150,000 people received hygienic food to eat in the blessed month of Ramadan. On the occasion of Eid al-Adha, tons of meat were distributed among 4 million people in the most impoverished communities in the country. Fine, but that's all what we had in the previous year too. The new initiatives were Saiban project, water projects, and distribution of wheelchairs among the handicapped. And the most salient among all of them, and which is still under construction, is a software-based clinical laboratory. Noted. Uh, moving on to Mr. Taki again, please share with us your marked achievements. Sure, sir. Apart from the rise in the reach of Beto Salam's message to the people across the globe, this year, we have been able to accomplish two unique milestones. The first one, establishing two state-of-the-art media labs in the North and South educational campuses, 
which have been really helpful in taking our media production to the next level. Uh, Mr. Ahmed would like to see a few pictures of those as well. Sure. Hey. And here is a video of the latest distribution. <laughs> Second one, please. The second accomplishment was the launch of the Salam app, a unique and multi-purpose app that is a single solution to all your daily amal. Salah timings, Quran with English and Urdu translation, zakat calculator, daily bayanat, in-flight namaz timing, and whatnot. Mashallah. Uh, Ahmed Sab, anything at your end? As you all might know already, we have started extending our reach internationally. A registered welfare organization with the Turkish government under the name Salam Evi was able to provide education, orphanages for orphans and widows, and medical care to thousands of war stricken refugees. And I would take this opportunity to break the news of our NGO registration in the USA by the name Betu Salam USA. Thank you everyone for taking our time and coming over here. I appreciate the efforts of every arm of this organization in Pakistan and abroad. By the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and such a dedicated team, we have been able to achieve unbelievable milestones in a short span of time. May Allah keep us motivated to spend all our lives in this noble cause. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum.